this is Connie and welcome to another get ready with me I am trying out some new products today so excuse me if I don't do them right or whatever um, I'm doing a first impression on some things a, a very good friend of mine sent me uh, Carol Sue she is an Avon representative and so she wanted me to try out some of her items and give her an honest review so I'm going to start today by doing a get ready with me. I'll have an unboxing for for you all and show you close-ups and everything of everything in a later video. Um, but she sent me an eyeshadow palette that has blush in it. has lipsticks in it, but I'm not going to use any of those because I'm just not a fan of the pan lipsticks. That's the only reason. Um, but it's got some beautiful eyeshadows in it and some blushes so we're going to use those and then she sent me a mascara and a liquid eyeliner which I am not very good at but I'm going to try today and she sent me some mini lipsticks to try out so we're going to wear one of those and I will have a swatch video for that later on too so I'm going to start out really simple today I'm not going to um, wear a ton of makeup I'm going to start with a primer though and I'm going to use my Ulta Matte primer and it's on its last legs I'm not having a wonderful hair day, 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 day either, so. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the flat kabuki. It's one that I got for review a year or so ago. I don't even remember who it's by anymore. But I'm going to use the BB cream today, um, matte. And this is by Rimmel. <coughs> I'm not feeling <coughs> I'm not feeling the best again today. I've got um, a horrible cough again. And uh, I hope I'm not getting sick again or yet or still or whatever. It's laying really nice on the skin, though. I had such a hard time all week last week with my um, Rocket Mascara. I do believe it's too old, so it's going to go in the garbage. It, every time I wore it, my eyes burned. It flaked terribly. And I'm afraid those flakes got in my eyes, and that's what caused that. Okay, so I am going to use my new Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil. Ugh, stupid thing. In Soft Brown. And if it is too brown for me, I will pass this one on. Because I really like the taupe one. So we will try this one and see how it works. This one's got more of a slant to it already. So here it goes. It's 
So you guys will have to give me your opinions now between the taupe and this one. Pretty dark. I don't know. I think it looks a little dark, but you guys tell me what you think. Um, I'm just not used to that dark. All right, so I'm going to use my Ulta Eye Primer. And I also, I'm not so sure if I'm talking at a normal volume of voice because my ears are really plugged up today. And I cannot afford to take another day off of work. That whole week that I took off of work was unpaid. And now I'm way behind on my rent again. But I'll get by. I always do. All right, here we go with the eyeshadows. Let's see here. This is what it looks like. Big old A on there for Avon. It's got a magnetic clasp that I really enjoy. I'll show you what the whole thing looks like here. There's the eyeshadows, and up here is a nice big mirror and the blushes over here and there is the lipsticks. And for one thing I can tell you one con already. I don't like the blushes by the lipsticks. Alright now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do today. Um I gotta use for I'll use this one for my transition. I used to wear um, Avon eyeshadows and lipsticks all the time in the in the 70s. Maybe even the 80s, I'm not sure. I can't remember back that far. <laughs> That's a long time ago, but I know in the 70s. I'm pretty sure I wore Avon makeup to my wedding because that's kind of what I wore. My mom used to get Avon and she still does and um, it's a pretty color and so I used to order um, I think it was mainly eyeshadows and lipsticks for sure. I know I remember ordering the lipsticks. Should have looked at this before, shouldn't I have? Um, I know I have a blue shirt on, but I think I'm going to go in with this purple. That is really a pretty color. bit powdery. But so many, so many eyeshadows are, so I won't hold that against it. Geez, that's a pretty color. And I'm not going to do anything special with my eyes today. I am going to put just a touch of gold in the center here, though. just to lighten that center up just a little bit. And these all have names on the plastic. I 
There we go. And there is my eyes. Whoops, I do want to um, run my transition brush over again just to make sure that this is even. and Because I did go up a little bit with my eyeshadow on. Oh yeah, very pretty, really pretty. I'm really liking that. All right, I'm going to go in with the, um, oh, this also has a couple little brushes down here, or a brush here for the blush, I believe, and a brush for the eyeshadow, and a brush for the lipstick on here. I am going to go in with the eyeliner, which is Avon True Color. Super Extend Precise Liquid Pen in Black Noir. Noir. And it's got a really sharp point on it. I don't know what it is, to tell you the truth. But I'm going to try to... I'm not going to do a wing or anything. I like a very, very thin line. I'm just so sick of being sick. This is not working very well with my... Boy, it's dark. Which is a good thing. Okay, that is done. I guess that wasn't so bad. Okay, and then we'll go in with the Aero Volume Mascara in... What did I do with my thing again here? Black is black. <coughs> 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 hurting my throat or my chest again too. Dang it. Very nice wand. Okay, here we go. It isn't wet at all. So it's a little bit harder to get that color on. This actually is quite dry, actually. I'm hoping that I got the right, you know, I didn't get an older one or something that is dried out. It doesn't feel dry when I'm putting it on, but the effect is pretty dry. It's nice, though. put you in a little bit closer once I'm done with my makeup and all right for my blush I'm just gonna take that off okay so I've got I've also got highlighter here I think I think I will go into this, whoops, this middle pink here. See, I don't like this right next to the lipsticks because all this blush is going to get into the lipsticks now. Or 
vice versa. Okay. And for my highlighter, I'm going to go in with my um, Manizer Sisters. And I'm going to go into my Mary Lou Manizer, which, you know, I already have, but that's the color I'm drawn to, so... Okay, and for my lipstick, I'm using one of her little samples in, this is Mauve Duliet, oh, Cozy Mauve. Of course I picked the Mauve, see it, itty bitty. It's gorgeous. It's very pretty. I absolutely love this. We will see how long it lasts. But anyway, guys, that is my, my makeup. Let me bring you in a little bit closer. I need to get up. My camera's too far away from me. And there we are with my makeup. The blush and the highlighter. Lipstick. Beautiful color of lipstick. I love it. And my eyes. And there we go. That is my first impressions. And so far, let me take you back out. So far, I am not unhappy with anything. Um, the only thing that I would change is the lipstick next to that blush. Or have a plastic cover, a, a thicker plastic cover over just the lipstick. So nothing merges between the two because that happens all the time. And you'd think that, that makeup companies would get the gist or get, get a clue and know that. Um, you know, it happens to a, to a lot of bigger named brands too. It's not just Avon or, or you know, these are pretty drugstore prices. I will, I will leave her, um, Avon link down below if you want to take a look. Avon has definitely stepped up its game since the 70s, for sure. Um, the, I remember the eyeshadows used to be pigmented, very powdery, I remember that, and very um, fallout, so, and chalky, and they are not anymore. Those are, I tested a few of them before I put them on, um, you know, just a little bit of finger swatches, and they're very nice. Very nice. Very silky feeling. So, go check out her, her page, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.